Hello guys, welcome to chapter 6 on dplyr package by R programming tips. In this chapter, we will talk about distinct function and arrange function from dplyr package. So let's first load the package. I am using library function here and I am loading my data set by making use of read.csv function here. And let's see how my data looks. So you can see that I have got college name private and I have got couple of numeric variables here. Let me close this and let's get the names of the variables. You can see that the names of the variables are here. We have got 19 different variables out of which the column one is a unique variable. Okay. Now, where do you use distinct function? Distinct function gives you a unique values of a variables. So if you are looking to look at, let's say there's a categorical variable and you want to check how many unique values or the, how many levels are there, you can make use of this distinct function. You can also make use of distinct function with the numeric variables as well if you want to check like how many distinct or unique values are there for are there in this uh, variable okay syntax is very similar it's similar to select statement or your filter statement all you need to do is you need to provide the distinct function give your data set name and the variable for which you want to look at the distinct levels in that particular variable so let's run this and you can see that we have yes and no two levels we have in two distinct values or two levels in private variable Okay, you can also look for, you know, it's not just that it takes one variable. If you want to look at the combination of unique values between two variables, you all you need to do is you need, just need to separate those variables by a comma. Okay, so I'm going to check for empty cars data set. I'm going to look into cylinder and VS combination of distinct values. So if I run this, you can see that we have got five distinct values. That means that three are for cylinder and two for vs so in actuality we should see six different pairs however it seems that the cylinder a does not have vs equal to one value so we don't have this but you can see that we got distinct pairs which we have between cylinder and vs okay it's a very useful function i encourage you to use this function uh, the other function which you could have used against distinct from the base package is unique function itself okay Moving to our next function, we will talk about arrange function. So what does arrange function do? Arrange function is used to sort the data, okay, based upon one particular variable or number of variables, depending upon what you want to achieve or what your task is, okay. So it's again, syntax is very simple. You say arrange, you provide your college or in case this is my data set name and the variable based upon which you want to sort the data set. So I have just run this. Let's see. And you can see my data ha my data set has just got sorted but right now by default if you can see that it is sorted in ascending order that is from lowest value to the highest value okay and as i told you that you can arrange based on two different uh, columns all you need to do is you can separate the columns by uh, providing comma in front uh, comma in between these two variables so i am sorting by applications and the acceptance except variable so let's see this and you can see the data set has got sorted based on these two variables okay now we see that the data set gets sorted but it's from lowest value to the highest value that is it it's getting sorted in ascending order and you might require to sort the data in descending order okay if you want to do achieve this task all you need to do is you need to pass your variable name within the this function which is called dissect which is a short form of descending okay so let's run this you need to say arrange data set name descending and within that you need to pass the variable so let's run this let's see the head and you can see that my data set is now sorted from highest value to the lowest value okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial happy learning guys thank you for watching